A Prosimus Fast DDS monitor introduces its latest version with new graphical views to ease the comprehension of any DDS deployment. In this tutorial, we will see the representation of the connections between different DDS entities through the simulation of Shapes Demo in ROS2 TurtleBot scenarios. A Prosimus Fast DDS monitor is a graphical tool aimed at tracking the communications within Fast DDS based network architectures. This allows users to visualize key metrics such as latency or throughput in a simple and straightforward manner. First of all, we are initializing the monitor in the domain 1, where some shapes demo are deployed. In this case, we have already launched four shapes demo, and we want to create two publishers and two subscribers in square, triangle, and circle topics. The first one will contain three publishers, one in each topic, red square, blue triangle, and green circle. As in previous versions of the FastDDS monitor, those endpoints appear in the DDS entities list on the left panel. The next shapes demo will contain three subscribers in each topic. Again, square, triangle, and circle. The following shapes demo will contain two publishers in yellow square, and orange triangle. A circle subscriber is also created. Finally, the last shapes demo contains a publisher in cyan circle and two subscribers in square and triangle topics. The FastDDS monitor allows the deployment to be analyzed by tracking several statistics through charts. In this example, we have a quick view of the publication throughput by including the mean, maximum, and median values of the publication throughput in the square topic. For more information and guidelines related to charts and FastDDS monitor statistics, please check the video in the link below. One of the new features included in the last release is the domain view. In this view, DDS entities are displayed nested inside their corresponding physical entities, host, user, process, participant, and endpoint. Each endpoint has an arrow that represents the connection to the topic they are publishing in, or subscribe to. This way, we can have an overall idea about our DDS deployment in one site. Clicking on the topic name displays the related information in the left section. By right-clicking and selecting Filter Graph View, a new graph is displayed in another tab with the DDS entities related to the selected topic. This way, we can precisely determine which participants, or users for instance, are present in that part of the communication. Moving to the next example. Let's initialize the monitor in a different domain where we have a ROS2 TurtleBot simulation example. ROS2 Gazebo is launched in this case, simulating a house where the turtle bot would move around. The monitor displays both Gazebo and TurtleBot 3 participants, including all the endpoints for each one. By selecting the desired domain ID in the graph view, 
They are represented as in the shapes demo, nested inside their physical entities. In larger deployments, like this, the topic filter is more useful. Filtering by clock topic, for instance, we would see a certain scope of the communication details preferred. Thanks for watching. Make sure to download the latest version of the FastIDS monitor and start taking control of your communications today.